Radio Shouty. What was the industry like? Because that was another era that was just off the damn chain. You got BMF doing their thing over mm-hmm. there. You got music in Atlanta just on the rise and just really dominating on Smash. What was that like being in that mix? It was real clickish, man. It was real clicked up back in the days, man. Like, you know, it was crazy, man. You would walk in, like, we would come in and we would just. And then once we get in our area and we get set up, you could just look out and you just see Atlanta. You know, people would, would really come out and support the movement back then. You could just see a lot of people. Like, if you go back and see, and then what video, it was the whole Atlanta was in the, you had Deep Oil, you had the Franchise Boys. You know what I mean? You had a lot of people just, just supporting. You had a lot of people just supporting what was going on. So back then, the music scene in Atlanta, like, they were more together back then they are, than they are now. But it, the, the music scene, for like I said, from 2005 to 2008, it was one machine. And then from 08 to 2012, it was another type of yeah. influence came in because that, then Meech, Meech, they were gone. You know what I mean? Here comes future. Here comes, you know, the, the new movements. Yeah, you know chain. what I mean? Yeah. Two chains and... Young thugs and Thugger. you know it just it just everything evolved. Rich homie, Kwan. rich homie, and that's how you know that's and I also started evolving. I started getting my name in the mix with all of those young guys. You know yep. what I mean? I got relationships with all of them. Exactly. Still to this day, so you know it's like the music scene in Atlanta is what you make it. Like you can you can get in here and you can become somebody. You can get in here. You can be a promoter. You can do so much in Atlanta, man. From this day, um, music shit, man. Answer me this, though, Carbon. How much of a role do you feel like BMF played in the Atlanta music scene? Oh, my bad. No, you good. Um, in the Atlanta music scene, I think they, 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 they played a role in an era yeah. of the Atlanta music scene. Yeah. You know what I mean? Atlanta is, is legendary already. Facts. You know? With the organized noise and true, and uh, even ghetto mafia, and you, you know already know Atlanta is, is was already legendary. But for that era, yeah, <laughs> yeah. for that however many <laughs> however long that run was, oh yeah. yeah, they played a heavy role in it. They yeah. played a heavy role in it. But like I said, they after they you know after their demise or whatnot, it just it just turned into a different type of music. You know those those were get money guys. And, yeah. Now everybody is, they still getting money, but they getting they they having a lot of time. They partying, you yeah. know what I mean. Everything is like party, 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 party. Now you know it's nothing with a, you you know back then you know you had to be a real, a real, a real one. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. That was everybody what everybody portrayed. You know, yeah. and it's and that's kind of that's kind of why I just got away from the word real and created the real individual brand because. Ooh. People were just like they were running into the ground and standing on that reel. You got to live it. You can talk it. You can rap it. But when it's your turn to live it, you got to stand up. And you know, I just witnessed then during that time. Now, that doesn't matter. Yeah, that doesn't matter at all. Yeah, people just play up, play up, play for propaganda, play for whatever they can catch off social media. They. They're just trying to play a wave. You know what I mean? They're taking the lingo and turning it into a song. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, it's it's different now. It's, it's different now. Back then, you had to stand on morals in that era. You had to stand on it. You had to. That's how he became so big because that BMF stamped him. Yeah. <clears throat> of course, he was already doing his thing, but when the biggest street, street <laughs> biggest Cartel in the game, ever. whatever you want to call it, <laughs> When they say, yep. hey, this is our man, it's kind of like when everybody in the streets, they look at it they're like, oh, wow, <laughs> he's him. What you was it what like mean? moving through the city? And then what were those nights like in the strip club when the money went in the air and the parties just got ridiculous? Because I've heard DJs tell me, hmm. yeah, I've been in the strip club DJing for a long time, but I never saw it rain until that BML fair. Yeah, they did. And they, they used to go crazy, man. They used to go crazy, man. Back in my day, yeah, them boys used to go crazy, man. Like you would, you know, whatever club you can think of. Back then, Jazzy T's was was famous. They would go crazy in Jazzy T's. Mm-hmm. They would go crazy everywhere. Back before people knew them, they would go crazy in gentle, gentlemen's club. Mm-hmm. 
I used to see him go crazy in gentlemen club. The man, okay. the man, he just I guess he just got a thrill from that shit. I guess he he's a LeBron James of that shit before <laughs> before LeBron James. <laughs> Free big meets, by the way. Already. And everybody else who locked down with him and all everybody else, you know, my people that I touch hands with, my partner Spurf, he just had a birthday the other day. Yes, sir. Yeah, man, you know. Might see a lot of my people, man, you know. What is that like when you look back on that time, man? Because see, that's another question that I wanna ask. All of them boys was free. All of them boys was alive. And when you look fast forward 15 years later, a lot of folks ain't free and a lot of folks ain't alive, man. So, I mean, how does that impact your psyche when you look back on them times, when you remember them nights and them studio sessions of them days in the hood and them folks ain't nowhere to be found right now? Yeah. It, it, it lets you know you made the right decisions. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, 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 you made the right decisions. You kind of tried to stay away from – all of the rah rah, you know. Yeah, you 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 lived in the streets. You did what you've done, but when you look up and you realize that, dang, fifteen years ago it was different. You know what I mean? Ten years ago it was different. Yeah. Five years ago it was different. It, it it is somewhat shocking, you know. But I guess you get numb to it after so long. You realize it's like. People gonna do do what they gotta do, regardless for the money. So yeah. once they go for what they, you know, what are they going for the money? They gonna do what they gotta do. They gonna feed their kids. They gonna Thanks. live how they want to live. So it's kind of like some people get smart and, and stay under the radar, and some people, you know, bring the bring the murder and mayhem in. You know, I got and and that's when it gets crazy. I like I truly believe. Those guys would still be here right now if they just was a little bit more cool. You know mm, what I mean? Yeah. But it but it wasn't even him. Sometimes it's just the people that just be around and just they not going for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now nah, I feel that.